Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Here we are in, the, in my kitchen area in my apartment. I call affectionately call my cooking studio. And uh, today is Monday, August uh, 14th, 2023. And uh, it's beautiful out today. It's in the 70s. Uh, not as humid as it was lately, very sunny. Um, it is 1.53 p.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast. I live in, on Cape Cod in Massachusetts, uh, Falmouth, Mass, to be exact. And uh, <clears throat> no cooking today. Back to using the Vitamix again today. I'm making another smoothie. I, kn I know you saw I did one last week, and then I switched over to the dry container and did the peanut butter, which was, turned out great. I still got some left. Uh, I'm not going to be doing peanut butter today, but I'm doing another smoothie. Now, the last time you saw, saw the smoothie I did was called a spicy pineal, pineapple recharge. Now, this recipe is from my Ninja. I have a Ninja-like blender. Um, I've had it for years. Got it from QVC. Uh, I don't have any pictures of it. Um, if I come across one, I'll I'll post it. Um, somehow with my video, I'll embed the picture and the uh, picture. Um, but I'm doubling the ingredients. Uh, the the smoothie I make is called the Powerball. It's blueberries. So I'll go through the ingredients each one I put in. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty much doubling the uh, ingredients and uh, one of the ingredients I get I put in is unsweetened coconut milk. I usually buy it in a can. Um, I got this shelf stable. It's a blue diamond. It's a almond milk coconut milk blend. It's a shelf stable until you refrigerate it. No sugar, unsweetened. No artificial flavors or colors. Uh, great, 78% less. Okay, great. It looked good. I looked at the cotton in the store to uh, make sure it was what I wanted to get. So let's come down off of me, show you where the Vitamix is. I get it set up. I think this is going to be its permanent home on the back of this flat top stove. Just want to be careful that I don't turn the burners on back there. I've never used the back burners for anything. So, it's at a good angle on that. I know I had a bad camera angle when I was doing the tomato soup over the weekend. I had it still up on me, the camera, and I didn't show you when I took the lid off, show you the soup steaming. So anyways, um, this is not going to take long. So first of all, I'm going to start with a cup of that. So I'm doubling the ingredients then it, to the, then I, what I do in the Ninja. I usually blend it in this cup, which is 16 ounces, that came with the Ninja. It has the blade attachment. So I'm putting in the liquid first. A cup and a half of that. Um, one whole banana. I broke it in half. Yes, I peeled it. The, uh, the recipe calls for the Ninja a half a teaspoon unsweetened cocoa powder. So I got a teaspoon. Just Tershies unsweetened cocoa powder. You wouldn't want to eat it dry with un it doesn't, doesn't taste so good. But the blueberries and the banana are what sweeten it. I've got about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of frozen blueberries. They're big ones. They're kind of big. They're wild blueberries, it says on the bag. So I'm putting those in next. Those will act as my ice. Frozen. Now the benefits of this smoothie, it's got a couple of symbols. I'll tell you what they are. Heart help, antioxidants, and the and for be longevity and beauty. I should probably make that more often. Longevity, beauty. 
So I can put this lid on, nice and secure. This is the wet lid. Should have a little snap. There it goes. I'm going to start up on low, then go right up to high. I'm not going to blend it that long because I don't want to heat it up, get it heated. So, now here we go. Turn it on. Great. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pour it into this cup because it has a it has a sip top. It came with two of these cups, 16 ounce cups. Now I brought one over to my neighbor, Dina. She said, well, it's a spicy pineapple wheat chug. Yeah, she said it had a little spice. It was probably, it might have been the jalapeno. But it's supposed to. I love it. There's probably enough in there for another one. I'll let you, I know how it tastes because I, kind of purplish looking. Now, do you have to use coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk? Well, I would suggest it. You could probably just use regular milk. Oh, that is good. Now, once I made it, I didn't have any coconut milk, but I had some almond milk. That was pretty good, too. Oh, that is delicious. Looks just like the picture, actually. Oh my God, that is so good. That would be like a dessert drink, actually. I'm gonna have to buy more blueberries. I've been eating this more than I used to in the and the ninja. Mm. Now there's some other ones in here. There's like about six more different smoothies in here. I should really try the green one, the lean green ninja. It calls for spinach, kale ears, pineapple. May this really sounds good though. I think most of no kill is a superfood. Oh, that's so good. Wow, brain freezer. So there you have it. My blueberry powerball. Start your day off right with this luscious booster. Yes. Now, you, if you wanted to, after you blend it all, you could put some whole blueberries in. If you wanted to, like, do it with, eat it with a spoon, that would be really good. Yeah. So, there you have it. My Powerball smoothie. That took, what, two minutes, if tops, if even? More, took more time to set up doing the video. Than it did uh, blending up the, the uh, smoothie. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm using my other device that I can use my remote with. So, so long, everybody. And uh, I'll see you soon, sometime during the week. And uh, have a good week. If I don't, 
Uh, love you all. Thank you for subscribing. I'm up to 249. Uh, hope it goes a little higher. And uh, thank you for you for the new subscribers and all my regular old, you know, older subscribers that have been here for a while. Uh, shout out to Robin. Uh, I'll send you the video pretty soon. I was chatting with you earlier and uh, Deborah. Uh, so, so long for now. Bye.